that's a dangerous one. Playing a square ball across midfield. Farrow just stumbled, but she scores! And finally, finally, Millie Farrow breaks her duck. The 27-year-old English woman missed a guilt-edged opportunity last week. Just oh, so composed for a player so young. She sure is. She's such a hard worker. She's always working so hard. And that's been sloppy there from Hilary Beal. And it's Sophie Harding who gets the goal for the Western Sydney Wanderers. And is not what you want so late in the game. But Sophie Harding so aware of her surroundings. She may have just scored the winner. Had to go back to Papadopoulos. Still Papadopoulos and knocked away by Apostolakis. Savisky going to bring it back the other way, but Casper's still going. Well, Kush LaRue up ahead. Still Kush LaRue now. Just one-on-one -on -one with Hillary Beal. Kush LaRue seals the win for the Western Sydney Wanderers. And that's exactly how you finish a game off. Finds it eventually in Anton. Pinched away by Elliott. Can they spring on to attack here? They can. Into the penalty area. Chance they equalise. Quick as you like. Breslin gives them hope. Wellington Phoenix back on level terms. As close as they can be to the doors to try and get a seat. Look at them all in the six yard box. To the near post. Away. Didn't quite have the elevation required. Barry sends it back into the penalty area. A chance now onto the crossbar on the rebound. And it's in the back of the net. There is no flag. Wellington Phoenix take the lead. They turn it around in the opening 15 minutes of the second half. Does go out for a victory corner. Murphy. Deep ball. And Kerry Aquino does get her first goal in the Liberty A-League. A fantastic finish. It fell so nicely for her. And she's able to capitalise in a really good corner from Alana Murphy. Probably her one of her better games for the Melbourne victory this season. If you watched her at times, it, she was forcing a lot of play. And as this ball's made forward for Bryson with the effort. And the Central Coast Mariners have equalised courtesy of a Faye Bryson goal. Came out of absolutely nowhere. And Brightus. It's done well to win it. Back to Winant. And Apple's high in the air. Winant can control it. Still Winant with the effort. And she does get a goal this afternoon. All that hard work from Mackenzie Winant. You said, Teresa, she could be the match winner. Yeah, look, I think today could potentially be a different story. They're coming off the back end of a strong performance against Melbourne City. Um, they've got good link play in some of their local players. We'll come back to that in just a moment because here is Michelle Heyman looking to get things underway for Canberra United. The ever-present Michelle Heyman finds the back of the net in her third of the season and her 97th career goal well, that century, it looms tantalisingly close. Well, Sasha Grove, just one of two Canberra players named in your young Matilda squad. So we hold that thought, Serena Bolden looking for a response to the Newcastle Jets. She slots it on easily into the back of the net, looking for the crowd for support, but she won't get much here in Canberra. It's a brilliant finish from Bolden. She's welcomed herself back to the Liberty A-League. That those two are great uh, mates, given that they played MPL with Apia Leichhardt, so I'm sure no malice. Well, that ball has found its way into the back of the net against the run of play. A quickly taken free kick, lobbed over the top. It's caught Chloe Lincoln off her line. Vesna Milivojevic. Gets the strike away. She's gone for goal. It's taken a wicked deflection. And it's Vesna Milivojevic. A bit of Milivojevic magic in her fourth goal of the season. Well, she's taken matters into her own hands. 
and she squares things up for Canberra United. Uh, only three draws ever in the history of the competition between these two teams. And plenty on the line to play for this afternoon. That's a great ball over the top. Early delivery, Serena Bolden looking for her second of the day. It's a cheeky little lob and it is in the back of the net. What a response. Mackenzie, she looks to go long, but has just had taken a little slip there. Newcastle will want to capitalize. Nice ball through the lines. Lauren Allen, well, she is rapid driving through on goal. Gets the shot away and it's in the back of the net. Lauren Allen with a top stanch finish, a beautiful strike, separates the lead here at McKellar Park. Edges a pass away to McKenzie. Good ball over the top to Ilioski. She needs to get across in time, not on the side of Canberra United. Milivojevic looking for another moment of magic and it is in the back of the net. Vesna Milivojevic in the dying stages of this game it's fumbled into the net from Izzy Nino. But Milivojevic, she won't complain. She's got two for the day. Everything has slowed right down with this series of throw-ins here. Now the ball's back live in play. Polisina trying to spark things to life. Deflected off Seaman and a shot on the spin. Julia Grosso. What a great finish. Melbourne City strike first. And it's their left wing back, Julia Grosso, with striker's instincts that makes it Melbourne City 1, Sydney FC 0. Five career goals, but maybe not happy that Sydney FC is one that she's never found the back of the net against. Here comes the corner. Ekic, it's a drifter on the wind, it's in! Amina Ekic with an Olympico corner goal! And it is Ekic's first goal for Melbourne City since returning. After injury cut last season short. She is back doing what she does best, and that is finding the back of the net with that majestic left foot. Directing traffic. Everything would have to go right from here for City to score, but Torpy may have one last burst at the end of the half. Grosso, one goal already. Policina, it sits up for Rihanna. Policina, it wasn't cleared off the line in time. It matters not. City get a third regardless. Gallich puts it in the corner. This has been... A masterclass first half from Melbourne City. Home fans start to rise in cheer. Saveska's free kick. Great header from Stott. Taylor Ray through traffic, deflected in. Sydney are back in business. And based on the celebrations, it was Thompson, who hasn't even been in the country for a week, who got the deflection in to the edge of the six-yard box. Tallest target to aim for for Sienna Saveska on corner duty, but it's a good header from Taylor Otto away. Now Charlotte McLean through traffic, catches the deflection, and it's in, 18 Keen! First goal in Sydney FC colours, and it is game back on. After the lightning delay, Melbourne City are shell-shocked. Has made 14.9 metres per carry from her 58 carries this season. The most of any player in the competition. Mariah Lee gets ahead, takes it around. Silkowitz, the time, they open it. Mariah Lee at Suncorp Stadium. Her second of the season and punishes the Brisbane Roar. An opportunity off the corner. Here's McQueen. Chantoli Palmer delivery. Nori. Scarpelli. Corbin. Their first goal at Suncorp Stadium in four years. And it is Mia Corbin who does the business for the Brisbane Roar, her second of the campaign.